White with the Looking Glass Theatre Company, standing in front of the Looking Glass Theatre Company's Water Tower Waterworks. Come inside, it's a little quieter in there, and I'll tell you what's going on. Come in, follow me. Look, we got our production of Looking Glass Alice going on right now. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about next season. So here we are in the lobby of the lovely Looking Glass Theatre. Uh, here's some quick things that you get as a subscriber here at Looking Glass. The best tickets for the best price, guaranteed. You get discounted parking. You get discounts at any of our numerous restaurant partners right here in the neighborhood. You get discounted tickets for your family and friends. You get the best, most accommodating and friendly box office audience service staff in the city of Chicago. No, seriously, they are. They're awesome. Um, you get fantastic ushers and usherettes like the ones here who are waiting for Looking Glass Alice. Oh, and by the way, did I mention world class awesome theater? Well, let's talk to Molly Brennan in here. I think she's in here, warming up for Peter Pan. I mean, for Alice. Or really warming up for Peter Pan way in advance. Molly's going to be in Peter Pan, which is the first show of the next season. We got Peter Pan, Ethan Frome, the last act of Lil Cadison. You know, in this story, and I am really familiar with uh, Peter Pan uh, in its many forms. Yeah. Um, Go on, I'm just saying. Uh, Smee is Captain Hook's sidekick. Oh. But in this highly physical and slightly oh. dark. Oh. Sorry, a little help here. Interpretation. I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah, slightly um, dark interpretation. Keep the tension out of your face. Smee is uh, Captain Hook's sidekick. And traditionally, he's a male pirate. Yeah. But in this telling, he's actually female. Um, a mother who came to Neverland to um, find her lost boy. But because no adults other than pirates are allowed in Neverland, um, she becomes a pirate. So she has this struggle between being a mother and being a pirate. And I have a feeling that um, the kind of split personality is something that precedes me. If you've seen me as the Red Queen, uh, she has a bit of a split personality as well. Typecasting. I'm crazy. I'm just kidding. No, I'm really crazy. Uh, come on, work it. Split personality. Come on. Are you talking to me? Yeah, come on. Ow! <laughs> Did I just ruin your show? Not at all. In okay. fact, it's really useful to have distractions while I'm trying to balance since that's something that happens often in the show. So I'm excited about this season, oh, Andy. Yeah, me too. I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be varied, and I think it's going to have a little something for everyone. And congratulations on your first year as artistic director. I think you're going to do a terrific job. Really excited for you. Doodle-doo, doodle-doo, doodle-doo. Andy, you're fired! <laughs> Again? Oh. Bye. <laughs>